All right, and welcome back. Last time we met the kings of the Novigrad criminal underworld, and we're actually talking to one of them right now, uh, trying to convince him to help us tell whatever he knows about Dandelion's whereabouts, or to, I guess, help us find him. Seems to be that's all we do these days. Oh, and forgot to restart the timer for this one. Anyway, uh, yeah, looks like... I mean, it seems we're just searching for one person after another. And all Siri, Dandelion, the Bloody Baron's missing wife and daughter. This, the hunt for people never ends when you're a witcher. Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Pictures worth a thousand words and all that tribe. Ah, and you do realize, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. Okay. An odd request, but all right. So kind as to follow me. Awesome the secret trap door of sorts. All right, what do we have down here? Careful not to fall straight down. That could be a bit of fall damage, and we know how serious this game likes to treat fall damage. All right, where are we go in Dykstra. bunch of relatively worthless loot above us. At least I assume it's worthless. There might be money up there, so we'll have to remember to go back for it. Oh, Bart! Not again! Bart. Mm. Bart, stop that! Now! Bart! Bart! Bart make Ziggy lose Jonathan! Beating your head against the wall won't change that. Bart! Bart! But less thinky. But less thinky. But sadler. Poor guy. Where did he get the troll? From Zericania. Won him. Card game with a camel merchant. Your jokes are getting better by the minute. See me smiling. I'm dead serious. But I bumpy horses. What's there? Ziggy Bart Tay. Good Ziggy. Okay. Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And see that door? Bolt behind it until recently filled with Novigrad crowns and countless other valuables. But God, then boom, Chorfoot go. Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff, and you will help me get it back. Dandelion did this, I think. Why don't you handle this? Gotta have connections in the underworld. What do you need a witcher for? Uh. The gold wasn't mine alone. See, I run a members-only savings club, a bank for the initiated. For reasons that should be obvious, I prefer it if my temporary liquidity problems remained private. So I need an outsider. How do you know you can trust me? I don't. Counting on your survival instinct. Slip up, and they'll kill you. Feed you to Bart. Bart, sorry. But job that good. Okay. Fine. I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right. Want to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. Anyone 
didn't see what happened. Other than Bart, no. And the vault's location is known only to the treasure's co-owners. Well, and the thieves. What about upstairs? Anything unusual happened in the bathhouse the day of the break-in? No. Haplin swears it was calm as ever. The usual customers, no incidents. Bloody bucolic. How much was it all worth? Got an approximate idea? Why the fuck do you care? Figuring your finder's fee. Don't get your hopes up. I know you too well for that. Just prefer to know what I'm looking for. Three crates of Nilfgaardian florins, a chest of emeralds, rubies and topazes, silver candlesticks and platters. I could go on. Shiny Jorbun. Oh, God. Okay. Well, it looks like we are on a treasure hunt this episode. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Oh, no. Boom. Hole. Bad look won't go. Bad look no. Only sleep. Bad shoes. Head fold. Hmm. Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Hop smalls. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. Bad. Bad troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers on the side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know? A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, do you see them? Bart, through hole. Want see? Boom! Got what? Breathe. Shoom. Sleep go. Jorfun gone. Bad troll. Now, now. Stiff up a lip. Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom. Big. This like. I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can track these guys down then. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox, Fonce. Thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. I told him, Fonz, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men. I do. But I value my own even more. Dropped fonts and ran like hell. Okay, what kind of something are we dealing with? Another Kairin, perhaps? Probably not. Mind describing this something that crawled out of the water? No. Doesn't mean I can, though. Air in the sewers thick with spores. Can hardly see a thing down there. Must have noticed something. Was it... No! Didn't notice a fucking thing! Didn't do a taxonomic field analysis either. I know it's an inconvenience to you, but I felt I should get the hell out of there as fast as I could. Okay, all right. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that pop's antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula too. Disgusting swill, to be honest, but it'll save your life here. Thanks. You've not to thank me for literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. The sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. 
Okay. Dandelion, what the hell have you gotten yourself into? Edges curled out. Something inside door wide open. Wall too. Hmm. Bathhouse drain pipes seem to converge here. Hmm. Alright, let's go upstairs and grab all that loot first of all. Wrong way. Okay. We'll go grab all our loot. Man, we're already ten minutes into the episode and I feel like we haven't done much. In fact, since we've come to Novograd, I feel like we haven't really done that much. We just keep ending up in a lot of cutscenes and a lot of talking. Which is not bad, mind you. On my own, I'd probably be just flying through all this, but I'm not sure if all this makes for, you know, the most exciting, uh, I guess, viewing experience. Oh, seriously? We're overburdened? Okay. That's kind of annoying. How overburdened are we? Alright, I'm going to cut away, and when I come back, we will have sold all this junk, and yeah, we'll be able to continue our investigation. Greetings! You here for a specific reason? Okay, I actually decided, since we're up here, we might as well go ahead and finish that fencing lesson quest first. Got a meeting with Rosa. A fencing lesson. Geralt of Rivia, yes? Miss Rosa stepped out for a walk. Near Temple Bridge, she said. She asked that you join her. Guess it's gonna be an interesting lesson. Thanks. Really? I was kinda hoping this would... be wrapped up a little bit... easier than that. Alright, let's, uh, I guess, see if maybe there's a fast travel point we can unlock around here. And uh, there is a, a bar here that we haven't been to yet. Um, isn't there? Surely there's a fast travel point we can unlock. Probably on the bridge itself. Now that I think about it. At least that's what we can hope. And here I thought this would be a straightforward sort of thing. Oh, there we go. Fast travel point unlocked. We uh pop up. Okay. Nope. Easy, easy. Okay. We have to remember this bar over here. Alright, I guess Trigger's Gate. There's probably a fast travel point over here. And there's also this mysterious location we can investigate. Okay. So let's go meet the fair lady and take care of this side quest so that we can check that off our list of things to do. And plus, I guess, I, I, I'm kind of feeling just a little exhausted, I suppose, in a way of this you guy again. again. Want some more? Bruises on your ass heel already? On God, I say! Victory will be mine this time. I've practiced with shield and sword. Many a headless scarecrow around here. Heed my warning and stand and fight. I don't really want to fight you, okay? Don't have time to give you another lesson. Tis I shall give thee the lesson. All right, if you say so, Hoss. Um, where's Axe? There we go. Well, that was a, that was okay. Nothing nothing spectacular though. God, what's I gonna learn? Yes, but next time. Just just go, go back to make Billberry and apologize for being an ass. Quick, before I change my mind and break your bones. We shall meet again. Hello there, Halfling. Cleaver's Hench Dwarf. Interesting. Over here. 
Ah, alright. But as I was saying, I guess I'm getting a, just a bit exhausted of following the main quest, since... On camera, anyway, it, it feels like we spend more time just kind of sitting in cutscenes and talking to people and not really getting as much action completed as we could, so... Let's, I guess, take a bit of a break now, do some side quests, see what we can come up with. Elf Guardian Regiment always accompany you on your walks? Always. Papa's orders. It's for your protection, Rosa dear. People here hate us. Why? What have I done to them? But enough about that. Soldier, you may leave. But His Excellency Ambassador Baratra said that... And this Excellency is telling you otherwise. Do you not recognize him? This is Geralt of Rivia. The best swordsman the North has ever seen. I'm safe with him. Now march off, quickly. Left, right, left, right. Finally. Let's go, Geralt. I've something I wish to show you. Okay. We were supposed to train, not go for a walk. I know, Geralt. Now stop harping on about it and let's go. <laughs> Oh. Right, you are going to run, right? Next. So I don't want to switch to walking. I'm going to be running instead. Just because running is so much faster. Here. You see, I thought that instead of training in a dank old cellar, we'd move around in the open air. A duel on a bridge. Like in the novels. Now draw your sword. Only got my steel and silver swords. We should be fighting with practice weapons. We should, but you of all people ought to know. There's much more fun in doing things you shouldn't. Okay, I mean, I won't play with kid gloves here since she really does seem to be able to handle herself. If that's what the lady wishes, just don't want to see anyone crying later. I've a hanky for you just in case. On guard! <laughs> I hate how they always do that. They always. They only get the first blow in because. Ow! Ow! Stop! I yield! You alright? Yes. The only thing you really hurt is my pride. It's alright. You'll get better. By the way, how'd you get interested in fencing? I was bored. I've no friends here. Papa keeps me on a short lead. It's banquet after banquet after banquet. I detest banquets. <laughs> Boring conversations, terrible food, and weak booze. Exactly. At least with a sword in hand, I can have some fun. You know, blow off steam. You shouldn't be carrying steel unless you're really ready to use it, my lady. You know? But, I mean, hey, you can do what you want. All I'm saying is, don't pick up steel unless you're, you know, willing to die by someone else's steel. Something of that nature, anyway. Alright, what's next? We should return. Just forgive me, Geralt. I know this might sound awful. But would you mind turning around for a moment? My corset's shifted. It's pinching me terribly. I can understand a woman wanting to look pretty, but fighting in a corset, it slows you. Rosa? Shit, she ran off. Anything happens to her, Baratra will kill me. Need to find her. Can't be far. Okay. So, what do you guys see? Trouble? Oh, you're not even tough. Alright. Well, this is turning to be a bit of a longer kind of side quest than I expected. Oh well. What do we have going on here? Far from home, aren't you, sweetie? And there's no telling if you'll ever get back. She's Ambassador Varatra's daughter. She's got diplomatic immunity. I don't really understand the shite you're saying. Now it's clear you love your black ones. It's no surprise, Lucas. 
Witches are drawn to monsters, just the way things are. But this beastie, oh, we'll take the world ourselves. Oh, you silly, silly men. Why, why would you pick a fight with the Witcher? At least we get to use Axie again. A bit of mind control for our... Well, for whatever reason, I just like using it. I believe you've offended the young lady. Now apologize as nicely as you can. For, forgive me, milady. I... I am sorry. Your turn. Be nice like your friend. Bow low and go be a patriot somewhere else. Lucas and Cole. I shall remember those names. And when the Emperor takes Novigrad, I will find them and have them pay. Easy. Didn't hurt you in the end. They raised their hand against me. That's enough to have that hand lopped off. And lop it off yourself. And you wonder why the locals hate Novgard. I thought you were different from other Nordlings. That you understand us. Our sense of justice. I see I was wrong. You should go home now. And take the shortest, not the scenic route. I understand. Farewell, Geralt. And good luck on the path. Yeah, I don't really know what you were expecting. There, milady. I mean... I mean, just because you're noble doesn't mean that you shouldn't have to fight your own battles. That's how you really earn respect and trust among the people who you are responsible for guarding. Also... Uh... Yeah, I guess I'll switch. And... I'll wait until I can upgrade the Griffin Swords. Let's see what we have over here. Rooms to rent, rocking horse, kitchen hand, dinner special, a warning, and an announcement. Alright, so... Wait a minute. Oh, there was something there. I always just assume those little ones are just kind of like flavor text. You play Gwent? Welcome to the Seven Cats, the luckiest tavern in town. They even say the hangovers are wine begets the lucky. Okay. Alright. Um, I think I'll cut this episode off here. And when we come back, I think we'll probably work more on doing side quests and things like that. Though I guess we might return to investigate that vault, since I am interested in following up that particular story path. And I'm not sure if that's really a main quest or a secondary quest. Whatever, I guess, gets us doing something interesting, basically. So for now, uh, leave a like if you liked the video, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, it really helps support the channel, uh, and I will see you next time.